somebody said that we're following everything but they don't want to do net… they want to cancel their Netflix. <laughs> so I, I don't… yeah, you don't have to be so extreme that uh, this is about preparing for the last days and uh, to keep some moderation in your life so that you're not extreme. Those are not the, the things that necessarily will determine sincerity. So sincerity is based on your faith, your practices, doing good and charitable deeds and at the same time keeping your family to have its entertainment, your children, your, your spouses. So uh, being moderate at home and, and having a, a moderate lifestyle. There was another question on uh, someone wanting to wear hijab and what could we do to, to take that step. And it's similar to everything we've talked about and why we talk about that this way is based on love. It's not based on fear of Allah because that doesn't work very well. Not that many people fear anything anymore and that's why the teaching is based on love. So for the men or for the women the whole objective of talking about love is that you have to love Prophet you have to love the Ahlul Bayt and Holy Companions. And as a result of love you do things out of love. So the men should be inspired to say out of the love of Prophet I want to grow my beard and that is going to be my Muhammadan symbol in life and I want to have my beard because Prophet said, grow your beard, discourage the shaving of the beard so that you don't look like women. So it's a immensely powerful sunnah. It adds to the male and the masculine energy for men to have a beard and uh, the mustache and the beard. It's an act of love. So it means when we tell ourselves based on this love that, I love Prophet I want him to look at me to be happy. Not just that I, I, I love you but I don't do anything for that love, I don't sacrifice for that love. Uh, I, I have to make my life a continuous sacrifice and then at some point the men will then begin to cut their hair short and as a result they'll begin to wear their head cover because that's a, a fight against yourself. It's not for fear of punishment but for love of Sayyidina Muhammad do what you do based on love to make them happy, far more powerful based than on fear. So we cover our head. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nur John. Thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah, if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. For the love of Prophet so that we can uphold the Holy Sunnah. Uh, everything's a Sunnah. Means the way we breathe is uh, all Naqshbandiya based on how to breathe, based on the sunnah. We carry the ring based on the sunnah, not from fear of Allah but for the love of Prophet And if you understood the history of Ahlul Bayt and that when the fields of Karbala they, they finished killing all the men of the family, they went after the women. And they ripped from them their heads, their hijab, to devile them, devile them, efface them, to humiliate them and to attack them. And anyone whom loves the family they should take that flag like the flag of Sayyidina, Sayyidatina Zainab That how they fought you, how they effaced you and tried to humiliate you, for your sake I will cover. And for your sake I, that will be my fight in which I want to wear that 
as a sign of your love and please love me and gaze upon me, dress me and bless me and make it to be easy this, this fight that I take on to this earth. So to do these actions based on love, not from fear of Allah punishing you because then your logic and mind will come into your head, oh I, maybe He won't punish me. So it's based on love that do you know how many people suffered for that act of Islam? That can you imagine that this is the, the grandchildren of the Prophet of Allah and they were, they were ripping them and, and humiliating them, making them and parading them through the fields all the way into to Damascus to, their, to the people there and this immense horrific tragedies. And throughout Islamic history all of these holy people have suffered for what we can easily pick and say yes and no to and don't do it. So we choose a symbol in love and say, for the sake of Sayyidatina Zainab because we're, we're all very strong lovers of Ahlul Bayt and that for her sake that her nazar be upon me and what they try to take off of you through violence I willingly put upon myself and this becomes my flag of Islam, this becomes my, my path of sincerity. It's not a political statement but it becomes my fight against myself and, and it's immensely powerful fight against the self because the self wants to be free and exhibit itself and uh, exhibit itself freely for people. And the way of the heavens is completely opposite and the way to, to come against shaitan is completely opposite by veiling oneself and taking a path of humility and humbleness and modesty. And modesty is a salvation. Although people think, oh in last days will become difficulty, they will target people. No, you have to remember Allah wrote this program and it's actually the opposite. Those whom Allah has under His program and whom walk in His way, the program will overwrite even people to look at them. And I told you about the story of the pigeon today, these crazy people were firing directly at this beautiful white bird. And you could see the bullets were going and the bird didn't fly away, it just stood there like, what are you doing? So no, no different, one whom walks in Allah's way and takes their path in Allah's way, Allah's their defender, Allah's their protector. During the height of their 911, we went into the airports with turbans, kufis and full sunnah. And the security would come and take our cane and help us across and said, do you need anything? <laughs> Allah wrote the program, we're not bad people, we're good people. If you're good people and have good heart Allah writes everything to be beautific. Even in the face of fear that I walk through the valley of death, I fear nothing because I know that Allah is with me. Subhanahu wa rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Narjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.